That's a little big. Can you show me something? No, that's even bigger. Can you? That's even bigger than the, th the other one. Can, no, that's the biggest thing. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more of Planet Zoo, where we've got a bit of an issue opening up here in Neo Suburbia, of all places. A, a habitat that I don't actually pay that much attention to, except when I've got to shave out a few skunks or raccoons. And the issue is right here. This water is filthy. This water is completely disgusting. It's just a toxic pit. I apparently do not have a water treatment plant within range of this. Clearly, I do not. Now, that begs the question, where the heck am I going to put one? This area is super, super tight. Could I maybe... No, there's no way I'm getting a path around there. I might have to demo something to put something up here. What's going on down here? What is it that you do here? Your staff room. Okay. I could put a staff room somewhere else in favor of a water treatment thing. Now, the thing is, the guests are going to be wicked bummed out by that. They're going to walk by and go, oh, no, water treatment, that's terrible. We'd rather have a filthy, toxic pit. What if I moved a bunch of things, and by move, I mean delete and destroy. What if I moved, and again, delete and destroy, a bunch of things around here, maybe get a small path going up here, where the water treatment can go and possibly not completely 100% bum out everyone who's going by it. Yeah, you can move the bench over there. Now, could I get a staff path going up here? Oh, this is this is going to be fidgety as heck. You're not going to go through there, are you? Oh, you are going to go through there. Oh, fantastic. Oh, perfect. You're just going to go right through there. You won't go through there, but that's okay. I don't actually need you to. So water treatment, please say there is somewhere I can put you in here. Where is, where's your path? Who's in, there it is. There it is. I had it. I had it. Boom. Right there. Now, is that actually within range of any power? That would be the other thing you probably needed to know about. Um, it does not say you're not powered. It seems like you're fine. Okay, well, that should solve this problem right here. Tick the game on there. Let's get that going. Yep, there we go. 1%, 2%. Climbing rapidly. All right, that'll shut up the protesters for a week or so. And many guests still think the tickets are overpriced. They're going to have to learn to cope with that. I just, I can't with you guys. I need the money desperately. Also, vet research. We've got the sloths to be researching. Yeah, we're not researching sloths. Frida, can you get on sloth duty, please? And more than a few commenters, more than a few, I might add, and by that I mean like more than one, desperately wanted to see the sloths. So let's go check out some sloths here. So exhibit camera. There you go. One sloth. Apparently we only have the one. There's a couple of people in here checking out the sloth. Going, hey, look, that thing moves really, really slow. Oh, no, wait, we got a couple more sloths over here. There we go. There's the rest of the gang over there. Just hanging out, quite quite literally, just hanging out, doing doing sloth things, just having a, a good old sloth day, living their best, best sloth life, I guess. Now, while I'm over in this corner of the map, let's, once again, begin to work on work zones. I know, I know, work zones, I get it, I hear you, I read the comments, they're just so boring. So let's get a new work zone going. Okay, I've got a bunch of stuff up here. So let's have all of this. The penguin and cat penguins. Penguins, thank you. Penguins, whatever's going on down here, this can be all work zoned out. Now, when that's orange, red, green, orange, does orange mean I already have a work zone? Because these ones I definitely have a work zone for. Orange must mean I already have a work zone. That's actually a surprisingly handy feature so I don't duplicate stuff. Well done, Planet Zoo, well done. So we've got one exhibit, a bunch of things down here. Uh, all of this, I know this seems like an exceptionally large work zone, and it is, but I want stuff where I can put a keeper and a mechanic in the same work zone. One guy for the barriers, one guy for the animals. Um, I'm not even sure what this is over here. Uh, that must be the pandas, because the, the camels are over here, so that's the pandas. Okay, so three exhibits, and a bunch of things. Okay. I don't even know what to call this. Okay, Ampara, where, where did you go, man? There you are. Okay, so you're going to go into panda, pandas, etc. There it is, down there. And then I want to get a mechanic in there, too. So mechanics, mechanics. There are my mechanics. Okay. 
Uh, you're in Rhino Town. You're in Bears and Elephants. Uh, Chastity, you don't seem to have anything to do right now. Why don't you go deal with Pandas, etc.? Okay, so that's one Keeper and one Mechanic for that area. So hopefully barriers will get done, things will get fed, an animal has died. Uh, oh no! Jabalani! My white rhino! Oh, it's gonna take more than one vet to haul that guy out of there. I still have extra rhinos, though. A capybara died. They often do that. Uh, I still have extra rhinos, though, right? We're not, we're not out of rhinos, are we? I've got one. And it's female. And, well, it is expecting offspring, though. Okay, it is expecting offspring, so we're gonna have more rhinos in the future. Also, we should probably feed the rhinos that we have right now. And just putting a few of the ostriches on contraception, because they've gone a little nuts lately. Uh, yeah, there it is. Facility's having a negative effect. It's that water treatment thing, isn't it? I don't know where... Could we go out of the ostriches, please? I don't want to... No. No, that's into ostriches. That's the opposite of away from ostriches. I'm stuck in the cave, aren't I? I was stuck in the cave. Um, it's that water treatment thing, isn't it? No, 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 not that thing. I knew about that thing. Okay, this, so whatever guest was bummed out about it has walked by. It'll be that water treatment thing. It's a little too close to the path. I'm just going to have to cope with that as we go on. Now, speaking of capybaras, how many do we have kicking around right now? Because I often have more than I need. Yeah, seven might be a little much. Let's just get, like, a couple of these guys out of here. Yep. Sorry, Raul, Amedio, you're out. Um, enjoy life on the outside world. We're basically just kicking you out the door. We don't do any sort of delivery service to your natural habitat. And speaking of overpopulation, how's the sea lion equation right now? Yeah, 22. 22. I don't think, um... You're all going back to California. You're all... We're gonna put you... Well, I say we're gonna put you on a plane. We're really just gonna kick you out the door. And you can sort of flipper your way over to California. All right, well, weirdly, I actually have no alerts up there right now, so let's see what I could get done around here. I was going to keep picking away. Uh, tickets are overpriced. Learn to cope. Just, you know what, just learn to cope. All right, tickets are going to be overpriced. I need the money. So I was going to keep picking away at our area over here where we've got the um, the new tram station, the new little monorail station here, and some shops and whatnot, trying to get more people up here. Uh, benches and bins. I've done, well, some. I've got some benches, some bins around here. We've got donation boxes around here. Could I, do I think I could squeeze something in there or just be smarter maybe to get a few more trees, pretty the place up a little bit. There you go. It's all extra pretty around here. Are you going, yeah, you're going to the tram station. Again, the monorail station, whatever that is. Okay, what else could I do around here? I, I'm not really sure what I want to have happen right here. Because this would be a great little small enclosure area where I could put, some, well, small animals basically is where I'm going with the small animals. Not like another rhino or something, just smaller animals. Or I could link up the path from here to here. Or I actually could kind of do both. Oh, I'm about to lose a koala. Oh, and you just pooped. Oh, what a way to go. Now, how many koalas does that leave me with? Okay, yeah, that's Logan's going. That leaves me with two females, one of which is infertile. Okay, you guys are actually a little hungry, too. Let's uh, let's get a vet over there as soon as we can. Or rather, a keeper. Yeah, get a keeper over there. I'm pretty sure I've got a work zone for the koalas. I, I believe it's called koalas, etc. Because that's about all I can get. So, I'm gonna assume somebody's on the case. Yeah, somebody's in there right now. Yep, there we go. He's dumping food in there right now. I can see him dumping... Well, I assume eucalyptus leaves, because that's late, basically all they eat, right? It's an extremely limited diet. Uh, what's my problem now? Yep, we lost Logan. We know about Logan. And people think the tickets are overpriced. Okay, here's what I'm going to do for you guys. I'm going to drop it down a tiny... I need this money. 83 bucks. That's the best I'm going to do. What do the guests broadly think? Apart from the fact they're dumb as a bag of rocks, they're always thirsty. Okay, so note to myself... If I'm putting up anything for vending or concessions or anything, put up something with a drink in it. Apparently these people are just constantly dying of dehydration at all times. There are no koalas on the market right now. Not a single koala. Aardvarks. Huh. Never thought about aardvarks, really. You guys are on the smaller side, right? Show me your little hoosie mcwhats at here. How much space do you need? 330 square meters? That is a very, very small amount of space. 
very small rounds. Even if I had two or three of you, I wouldn't need much space at all. I mean, I don't, I don't know that you're. At, wait, zero aardvarks need 330 square meters. Huh? That's gonna keep popping up, isn't it? Which one? Is it the one I just put? It's the one I just put up. Yeah. There's really no way I'm gonna get around that. I need that there to keep the water over here in Neo Suburbia looking sharp. Uh, tickets are overpriced. You know what? I would love to swear on this channel right now. So, aardvarks. Probably not very interesting. But, geez, you know, it'd be something. Something the guests can look at. Okay, here's, here's what I'm going to do before I go nuts with that. I'm going to set up another work zone. I know! The action never stops around here. What work zones currently exist, by the way? I should probably know these sorts of things. So, work zones, and I think I've got a couple where I... Yeah, like work zone 8 and work zone 5. I think work zone 5 was pandas. Uh, yeah, let's just let's just get rid of these so it doesn't confuse me, because I'm very, very easily confused. So we got rhino town. we got newts and newt adjacent. Camels covered. Okay. Bears and bears and elephants. Okay. That orange marker is very, very handy. Tells me what I do and don't have. So let's set up a new work zone. All right. All right. Let's, let's get, get a picture here. Let's do a little overview. So the orange stuff is covered. That's, that's looking good. Basically, I favored the outside of the zoo and not the inside. What is, um, go, go away. Go away. No, no, go, go away. I said, go away. Don't come back. Uh, this is my giraffes, right? Yeah, giraffes and boars, I think, are in there. Uh, barrier status is very bad. Let's get someone over there super quick, could we? Yeah, warthogs, zebras, and giraffes. Uh, you know what? We got way too many warthogs while I happen to be looking right at you. So, um, no more warthogs. Thank you. Well, n none of these ones anyway. All you guys can get released to the wild. Have, have a really good time. I think you're following the sea lions out the door. So, we could definitely use a work zone for these guys. Now, where is... Where's the nearest staff room? It's probably down here. I've got, I'm like, I must have something down here, right? Uh, yeah, there's a staff room. Okay. So, starting with the staff room, let's create another new work zone. So, staff room and whatever this is, I don't care. This enclosure, because that's the, uh, yeah, that's the giraffes and all of that stuff. Okay. And then whatever's in here. Oh, that's, is that giant kitty? I think that's giant kitty. I will got to take care of Giant Kitty. Um, I'll put this on here just in case the mechanic needs to repair it or something. Whatever, whatever all of the, is it, are these all shops? I don't know. You know what? I'm just, I'm slapping everything in here. Um, so three encounters. All right, three habitats right there. And then whatever, oh, should we also maybe include these things? Probably, probably. That's probably a lot, right? That's probably too much. Well, we're going to find out. Uh, so we got butterflies, bats, and zebras. Interesting combo. Okay, there's a diseased animal. I'll deal with that momentarily. Um, Betty, 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 Betty. You could go into... Uh, where's my new thing? There it is. Butterflies and zebras. And then let's put a mechanic in there, too. So, um, Mark, you seem terrible. Uh, I'm, you know what? While I'm here, I'll just train you up a little bit. I know that makes them more expensive. Hopefully, it also makes them better. That's kind of the point. You are now in butterflies and zebras. Who's diseased? The capybaras? What is your problem over here, people? Oh, you have a habitat issue. You're, you're hungry. That part I can cope with. You're incubating MRSA. My, my vet can... Hope, oh, you, you, yeah, you're already in a box. You're already in a box. Uh, how about Evita here? Yet, you're in a box. Okay, you're being dealt with. Is there an issue with the water? Nope, water is 100% clean. All right, well, throw a, a keeper in there to feed them. Not really sure what the problem was with your habitat there. Maybe they hadn't cleaned up the poop yet. Now, apparently, we did a thing, too. Uh, satisfy the capybara water area requirement. I probably did that by boxing up the sick ones. Um, African dogs. Actually, that's a great reminder game. Thank you. I think we're extremely low on dogs right now. Oh, hang on, hang on. There's fighting. There's issues. There's issues. I was kind of... I was trying to let things go through until daylight, just for recording sake, uh, because it's very dark in this game, even with the camera light on. So I was trying to get through to daylight so you guys can see what's going on. Um, unfortunately, it seems like daylight hours in this biome are 20 seconds. So we've got like a couple hours of daylight, and then the rest of the time is just pitch black around here. Must be winter. Um, what's your problem? Are there just too many of you? Oh, I have too many males. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay, you're you're injured. You're infertile. 
You're an outsider. Everything is wrong with you. I can't actually get rid of you. I can get rid of you, though. I'm uh, sorry if you're the new one around here, but you're the one I can get rid of. That should solve the fighting issue, and we've lost a beaver. Okay, let's just try, again, getting this through to daylight so you guys can see what's going on. Although, while I'm doing that, because this is a nice bright screen, um, do we have any missing animals? Anything that's empty? Uh, you have an issue. Okay, that's a barrier issue. Okay, we're gonna have to check on that. Are all of my ex yes, all of my exhibits are full. We're full of newts today, thank goodness. All right, while it's briefly daylight, I want to work down here a little bit. So let's go with a drink stand. Everyone is whining that they are always thirsty. So let's put a drink stand in right down here somewhere. Uh, that'll work just fine, thank you. How about right about there? Okay, and then shrink your uh, your thing down here. We'll pretty you up a little bit. And then maybe some education stuff around here that I haven't quite determined yet. Let me just throw something up over this shop and then we'll look at education-y things. All right, let's see how this is going to work. So put this guy, this little stand, here. Okay, now I need a, a TV for that. That is a little small. A little small on that. How about this? That's a little big. Can you show me something? No, that's even bigger. Can you? That's even bigger than the, th the other one. Can, no, that's the biggest thing. Can you, sh there we go. There we go. Can you show me something in this place? Also, do you, do you snap to things? Why don't you align to a surface? Uh, specifically, yeah, that surface, right? No, no, that one. Right there. Okay, did I do that properly? Uh, yeah, basically, kind of, sort of, vaguely. Uh, could we move this, though? I'd like to, m oh, no, 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 no. Now, now it's all gone horribly, horribly wrong. It, it wasn't quite perfectly straight here, you see. You see my problem there. So let's move that guy. Oh, now I've got to do this again. Okay, right there. Boom. Okay. Now, what do we do with this nonsense? So I, I want this to be, because I've seen a couple of suggestions for this. Uh, yeah, there we go. Like ecotourism. Ecotourism. There we go. Go abroad and and love the planet or something. I don't know. But ecotourism. That's what we're doing here. And what else could we do around here? We could do I don't know, some of these kitty things, like the Education Station Gorilla. Or the paw print station. I don't know what this does, but I'm gonna put one down. Just it snaps to the path, so it must do something. I don't know. You go up and you what? What does that say? Come here. Come here. Come come here. Okay, that doesn't say anything at all. It might say something about llamas in a in a language I don't know, which is basically almost every language except English. So um, it probably says something in something else. How about another one? Let's just do. Let's just start littering this place with education. My guests are dumber than a bag of rocks. Also, while I happen to be in the neighborhood, I think we've got two boxes of Death Adders. This came up in comments because this was the Death Adder box that was just so wrong in its pathing. Nobody seems to be able to get in here. Just they keep bumping into things. It's all horrible. So I'm going to have to stretch my memory because I've been recording this game for many, many months now. But I think we moved the Death Adders to a different box. And then we were just going to leave this empty, except when I, you know, finally found the tab, after many people telling me exactly where it is, when I finally found the tab that told me all the exhibits, then I kind of saw one that was empty and filled it with Death Adders. So do we have, there's one box there, Exhibit 14 is Death Adders. This should be, because this is one of my first ones, this should be exhibit low number. There it is. I see it right there. Exhibit 9. Yep. So this is wrong. This is exhibit 9, isn't it? This is... Yep, right here. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to box up all the death adders. Um, yep, just box them up, send them to storage. So now I got storage that has nothing but tortoises and snakes. Deadly, deadly snakes. I'm just going to open up all the boxes and let them fight it out. Now this, I just want to delete... Let's just get rid of this because I, that's going to come up again. I'm going to tell you right now, I am going to forget. And then I'm going to look at Death Adders and I'm going to fill that thing with Death Adders. And then I'm going to be all mystified, all just shocked when nobody can get to the Death Adders. Also, are these things on? No, they are not. What are you over here? You're a boa constrictor. Okay, let's make it. This is why my guests are dumb as a bag of rocks. We're not telling them about things. Are you bullfrogs? Yeah, you're bullfrogs. So let's tell people about the old bullfrogs here. Now, we do have a donation box somewhere around here, right? Yeah, there's one right there. 
Okay, sorry we didn't tell you about the snakes. And while I'm here, I may as well put up, say, a bench. Oh, that doesn't sit very well at all. Um, I want to leave a little bit of room for a path here, but we'll put a bench there and then another bin over here for litter. What is that? Is that, is that litter? That is litter. That is, in fact, litter. Uh, for, yeah, that's just going to keep ticking, isn't it? Oh, that's going to frustrate the heck out of me. Yes, I get it. They're bummed out. I could... I could box up all the animals in Neosuburbia, fidget with the barrier a little bit, just kind of take that in a little bit, and then extend this out a little bit. So this would be more sort of like right where the cursor is right now. I know we've done vet research. It's about sloths. We'll get there in a sec. They're sloths. They're not going anywhere. You know what? We're just going to have to see how long I can put up with that because that's... Oh, it's, it's, not, it's not that they're bummed out. It's... What? Tickets, a broken barrier. Really? Okay, well, first of all, get a mechanic over there. Secondly, where are we? Is this ostriches? I think this is ostriches, isn't it? Oh, no, this is the, uh, oh, yeah, buffalo ostrich rhino issue. Okay, so the whole getting a mechanic over there with the work zone. Oh, I should probably put multiple mechanics in there. That's what I'm going to get told in comments, isn't it? Um, animal has escaped. Oh, hang on. I, I can just box. Uh, animal has escaped. Yep, dangerous animal. Are ostriches really that dangerous? Uh, the rhino. That's definitely dangerous. Oh, he's just out having a walk. Give the guy a break, would you? He's just out here sniffing out some new territory. He's not harming anyone. I'll grab you while I'm here. This is, this is kind of funny. He's just out for a walk. He's not doing anything any harm. All right, he's just bumbling along, being a right well, white rhino, just going, hey, look at me. I'm a white rhino, just out for a little little stroll. Now, I see my mechanic in this work zone is out repairing the solar panel. I mean, that part's good. He's doing something. Yeah, here comes the, uh, the yeah, okay, the keeper or the vet to get that thing. Oh, uh, I just want to be able to turn this notification off. I don't care. Yeah, see, it's the people above, isn't it? It's the people, it's the people in the pathway above, and they're all bummed out. It's not that I care that they're bummed out, I want to be clear about that. They can just suck it up. But, I want the notification to go away. Alright, what can I do here? And the answer off the top of my head is, not much. I need this to be within range of this piece, so I could just take out the water. That's a thought. I could, oh, wait, are you? You're filthy. Okay, um, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Everybody just screech to a halt here. How did I set this up without water purifiers? I know I'm terrible at this game, but I thought I was better than that. I set up Neo Suburbia many episodes ago. Why has this not popped up before? Did I move another water purifier? Possibly. Maybe. Maybe I moved one somewhere else that was in range of these. But this has got to get dealt with. I'm going to have a bunch of sick raccoons again. I need something maybe over here. If I... Show me a range on this thing. Uh, so show me this and show me this. Okay. So if I put that, it's not going to cover the second one, though. I can get one over here that will just get that one. That's great. That's fantastic. It's not going to cover the second one, though. I need something that's, like, right here. That would get both of them, if I could find some way to get something in here. What lives down here? The barrier for this. And then they're, they're still going to get bummed out when they walk past it. Okay. I need to just look at this for a sec. I'll be back in a bit. Now, where is my nearest... Ah, power. Right there. Okay. So I've got a small staff path going back here that will give me... Uh, well, this, frankly. I can get this guy in range. Uh, show me your thing there. Yep, there we go. All right, so tuck that guy right there. That'll deal with that one. And I don't think, unless they're going to get bummed out on the monorail by looking down at this, I don't know if they'll do that or not. Um, that should solve that problem. I don't think, hopefully they're not going to really... Uh, again, it's not that they get bummed out about it. I get that. All right, they don't want to see a horrible, huge piece of machinery when they're going through their nice little zoo visit. It's the notification. That's what I want to make go away, so this isn't continually popping up, going, yeah, this has had a negative impact on the guests. Yeah, I get it. But at bare minimum, that should at least, yeah, clear up this water. Okay. I don't know how... I must have moved something. I must have moved something. 
You guys watch this more intently than I do. Uh, let me know when I did that, because I could not possibly... Oh, we're gonna lose my, my other Rhino. Chabalani Part 2. I could not possibly have set up Neo Suburbia that long ago and not put water treatment up. That's, that's just inconceivable. I must have moved a water treatment. Okay, okay. I'm gonna deal with the Black Rhino situation. Yep, there, there's my Black Rhino situation dealt with right there. Um, unfortunately, that was my only Black Rhino, right? We have no more Black Rhinos. Okay, so first things first, slam it into pause mode while it's still daylight and I can see what I'm doing. Secondly, see if we got any Black Rhinos that are hot on the market. Perfect. One right there and selling it for magic leaf points, of which I have a whole bunch. So let's send you over to here, okay? Quickly, please, quickly. And then, before you forget, Dave, because you always do. Ah, wait, though. It's going to say turn the signs back on. Well, first of all, the sign is still on because technically they haven't got the corpse out of there. Really sorry, Jabalani, version 2.0. Apparently, I had two rhinos both named Jabalani. Really sorry to be so cold and, and um, sharp with you about that. But I kind of need the other rhino to get in here. So the signs stay on about rhinos? All right, well, here comes the keeper and or vet to... You, you're going to need more than that. Who who do you think you are? You're going to haul a rhino out of here by yourself. Okay, good, good on you. I don't know what you're doing in the gym, but you just moved a rhino by yourself. You might have sort of condensed it into that box. Anyway, long story short, thanks for the pickup, but that's made the signs go off now. So now i got to wait for the new rhino to come in. I'm going to wait right here, too. Because if I don't, I will pull away from this. I will have done 57 other things. Make that notification go away. 57 other things, and then totally forgotten to turn the signs back on. And this is why my guests are dumb as a bag of rocks. Hey, you know what? While you're waiting, Dave, while you're waiting, why don't you put up some other things? There's my rhino coming in right there. How about we did... Oh, we've got a speaker right there. I don't need a speaker. Uh, the soundboard? Sure, put a soundboard up there. And let's put up another... Okay, quickly, turn the sign on before you forget. And then scout around, see if there's any more signs that you put up about rhinos. Uh, no rhino signs over there. Any rhino signs? Actually, we're kind of lacking in rhino signs, aren't we? Let's put up more rhino signs. So you can be all about the black rhino over there. And then let's do another one of the um, sort of just generic be a nicer person on the planet kind of signs here. So put you right there. I don't know how deep this goes. Like if I put this board up here, does that interfere with their ability to see in the in the thing here? I'm going to do it anyway. It's not stopping me. But I'm wondering if they're like, oh, hey, I was looking through that window. Now all I can see is this thing about, about, about um, amphibians. Uh, deforestation. I'll know, all I, I know lots of things about deforestation, but I don't know anything about the black rhino anymore, and I can't see it, and I'm sad. What did I do here? Oh, I have adopted four different species. Okay, cool. Oh, dogs. Right. See, this is what happened. I forgot about the dogs. All right, wild dogs, wild dogs. Oh, you're down here. You guys are down in here. Um, I think we had a, an issue buying wild dogs. I got one dog. One dog in here. I think we can do a little better than that. Hopefully we can do a little better than that. Do you guys have... Uh, we're off black rhinos now. We've done that. Do you have any African wild dogs for sale today? Ibexes, Alpines... No. A bunch of elephants. Oh, I should really go check on the elephants. I bet that barrier's busted. Uh, go ahead, check this out. How are we, how are we doing on the old, uh, the old barrier here? How are we doing? Good? It's actually not that bad. I'm going to get a mechanic over here anyway, but that's not that bad. Likely, the project for next time is getting a larger elephant enclosure, because this won't stand. This is not sustainable. Oh, you dumped your thing in the water. You're not You're not going to be able to get your thing there. You know that, right? There's a reset. That, there it is. Reset that wherever it used to live before. Yeah, you're not going to be able to get that. Oh, they're good-looking animals, though. That's a good-looking animal right there. Go ahead, do, do the thing where you suck up the water and then you spray it. I love that one. That's like my favorite elephant trick. Are you going to do it? No, you're just going to drink it. He kind of sprayed it a little bit. These guys must be wicked into this. Like, oh my god, check out the huge elephant. That's amazing. When I was in the Berlin Zoo, the elephants um, are only separated by like a trench. 
that they can't cross. Basically a null barrier. Berlin Zoo loves the null barrier. They did it with the penguins, too. Um, but the elephant could almost reach right across the, the, the trench if he stood on three legs and stretched his trunk out all the way to maximum. And there was this little bush on the other side of the trench, and he would stretch himself out so you'd think he was going to fall over. And he'd get like a couple of little leaves off the... Uh, off the bush and then go back to normal. It's really cool. Berlin Zoo, they love null barriers. Okay, the, the guests think the tickets are overpriced. What if, because I was looking at the education stuff and I've been saying this for a couple of episodes, what if we did a tour? I don't really know. I'm gonna throw this into pause mode while it's still daylight. Uh, diseased animal is a capybara. Okay, we'll get a vet over there. Do we need to shave out the capybara population here? How are we doing? I've got five. I think that's an acceptable number of capybara. I'll take out this female here. We gotta get a little bit more of a balance in there. Okay, so four capybaras, that's fine. Uh, what are the other issues here? Uh, the warthogs are hungry. The warthogs are hungry, are they really? Are they really? Um, well, obviously get a keeper over there and get a mechanic over there too. That barrier's not looking good. Okay, all right, everybody remember that I was gonna do a tour because I'm about to do something else, and I'm completely going to forget about that. All right, I do have that area in a work zone. Maybe I just need multiple people. That's probably... I'm, I'm, I can kind of already feel the comments coming in on this. You need multiple workers for the work zone. Can't just be one guy running around doing everything. I could set up... Actually, I could set up another one here to do these two habitats. Whatever's in here... And then also this one, put a, put a second team really on that. Um, where is, I believe this is the staff room? No, that's the keeper hut. That's the one I want. Okay, so take that one off because I need some sort of staff room. Otherwise, the whole shenanigans doesn't work. So let's put all of this in here. That is koalas over there. Oh, so I didn't have one on koalas. Okay, so and then, oh, that's the tortoises. Nobody cares about them, but I'll put them in a work zone anyway. And then also this. All right, so now we've got more color combos here. Hey, Dave, you remember when you were asking about orange and what does that what does that mean? It's literally at the top of the screen here. It's literally at the top of the screen. There's a color key here up here. A little code, if you will, a key. So red, not in any work zone. Orange, in another work zone. Blue, in this work zone and another. And green in this work zone. You remember what, Dave, remember when you were asking about what, what does orange mean? And you figured it out by yourself, which was pretty smart of you, if we're going to be honest about things. Maybe a, a mild pat on the back for that one. It was right up here, man. All right, so let's put, say, Estella here. Could you please go into, where is my new place here? Koala Country. All right, you go into Koala Country. And then also let's get a mechanic in Koala Country. You're not doing anything, Martina. Why don't you go into Koala Country? All right. So that's a little bit, some things are duplicated, some things aren't. Hopefully that will, see, I've already forgotten the thing I was going to do. Tours. That was it. We're doing tours now. I don't know how to do them, but we're doing them. Actually, before I get away from that, I'm just going to shave out a couple of warthogs here because I see we've got some outsider issues. So you are outsider. Yep, you are outsider. This will also solve my hunger issues as well. Uh, you also outsider. Okay. Anyone else? You are definitely outsider. Is there anyone who's not an outsider? You're an outsider. Who's not? Deca Afafa. Well, that only leaves me with a couple of koalas. Not koalas. These are definitely not koalas. These are warthogs. They're completely different. Koalas do not have tusks, for one. Maybe they do. I don't know. I don't really get up close and personal with koalas. I'm going to keep Javen in, if only so I can have males and females. Send the rest out the door, please. And that will, of course, solve my... Solve my hunger problem as well. Um, none of you are hungry anymore because you stopped being my problem. Okay, nothing will deter me now from doing a tour because I have no idea how to do it. So, a tour point. Okay, tell me about this. What do we, do we just start here? Do you want to just start here? Right at the, uh, actually think about this. Where do you want people to go? Start here, obviously, at the front door. I want to get people... Not this way or that way. I want to get them moving up this way. Uh, what would be a good tour point here? Obviously, the wind turbine. Delightful. Uh, some staff facilities. Also delightful. Good good photographing opportunities there. Uh, sea lines. There we go. Sea lines right here. Tour. Boom. Right there. Awesome photo opportunity. How long are people prepared to walk? 
Like, is there a limit where they're like, oh my God, I'm not going on that tour. That takes like 20 years to get through that tour. How about one down maybe near the Gators? That's a nice, fun spot. And what else is up here? I'm just kind of, I'm really just experimenting. I don't really know what tours do or how they work or anything like that. I'm just slapping down stuff and hoping for the best. Uh, what is over here? Oh, that's Neo Suburbia with, with clean water for once. I feel like this is a very long tour with very few stops in it. And do I, do I set up multiple tours? What do we do with this? Um, also, I've lost the tour. I don't know. All right, I went to Sea Lions and then we went to Gators. Oh, I've completely bungled this, haven't I? Okay, well, you know what? One way or another, you're going to go look at dogs and then you're going to go look at whatever lives in here. I, I don't immediately recall. But it doesn't seem like a lot of people come down here. Oh, it's giraffes. Okay. It doesn't seem like a lot of people come down there. And then you could maybe circle around and go to this. What? What is it? Oh, is this wombats? Oh, I think this is... Yeah, this is wombats. Oh, you want to get a good, good look at the wombats. And then... Is there like a tour finishes here part? Like an end to the tour? Because actually... This would not be a bad place to end the tour. It is now. It's a terrible place to end the tour now. Because there's nothing up here. But I could put stuff up here. And that would really get people focused more in this direction, I guess. So what exactly is it that happens at the end of the tour? I would assume the educator is just going to be like, Okay, here's your wombats. Thanks so much for coming on Dave's awesome zoo tour. I'm out of here. And then everyone sort of wanders off in whatever direction they choose, which would be fine. I mean, it's not like a return trip, right? Like, they don't go back the other way. You know what? I'm turning the game on. I want to see what happens. Do I have to... Is this something I have to set up? Because I would assume that I could do multiple tours, obviously. Uh, who's got a disease? It's the capybaras. You guys are giving me no end of problems. There's already a vet on the way. There's already a vet there. You're having social issues. Do we have too many capybaras again? What's the problem with... We have four. And they're you know, two of them are infected. So they're going to be out for a while. Okay. Um, boy, the capybaras are starting to get fussy, aren't they? Is it a cleanliness thing with the, the constant diseases? I mean, my man here is in here sweeping up the poop. He's doing the best that he can. And could we not get someone over to feed the warthogs? I just put you in a work zone. You're supposed to be doing this. Oh, the giraffes are looking good, though. Um, do we maybe have too many giraffes? I'm seeing a lot of giraffes there. Yeah, you have to bend over to drink water. You shouldn't have got the evolved neck thing. Yeah, that's gonna happen. Oh, let's have a really, really long neck so we can get things in the trees. Yeah, look at you now. Look at you now. Oh, but they're loving this thing, though. Oh, they're they're all into this. Even the little baby one can get in down here. Oh, an animal died. Um, which one? The panda! No, not my panda. I just put you in a work zone. All right, what does that leave me with for pandas, please? Just one. Just one. And you're hungry. Okay, the, the hungry bit I, I can deal with. Get a, uh, a keeper over there, please. So uh, remind me again, please. You are a female panda. Okay. So I need... I need a male panda. And I needed a something else, and I, I've already forgotten what it is. Well, good news. They have one male panda. All right, so let's send you over to Panda Town, over here. Panda Town, wait, 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 where did I put pandas? That's, that's the camels, so I know pandas are over here. So, there we go, pandas, right here. Okay, I want to go, no, stop everything that you're doing right now. I want to go look at the tour. I want to see, like, do I have to set this up? That was my question. So if I go down to the tour, the, like the start of the tour right here, and I click on this. Okay, here we go, here we go. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I don't care about habitat cleanliness. I do, actually. I care a great deal about that. Um, I, I will deal with that right now. Is that the capybaras? Uh, what what are you? Are you elephants? Oh, yeah, you're elephants. Yeah, you guys poop a lot. I'm not surprised you got a cleanliness issue. Um, yeah, get a keeper over there as soon as, as, as we are reasonably able to do that. Now, back to tours. i got to set up a tour around here. Okay, how does this work? All right, assign to tour none. Open tour manager. All right, and we could have an activity type. We could have educational content. What what happens here? So would this like focus on one thing? Like when they get to Indian elephants, they're like, okay, guys, we're going to stand here and talk about Indian elephants a lot. Let's start with the top here. Open tour manager. Okay, no tours. Good. I would like to have tours. I would like to have a tour. 
Okay, here we go. Chore number one. Select to Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay. Select tour start. Yes. This one. Okay, confirm that. And then select points. Okay. Uh, does that have to include the, the start? I probably... Oh, please say you're illuminated. Ple please say you're illuminated. Or have I just done this completely wrong? The second option is far more likely. Far, far more likely. So do I click on, like, a habitat? Nope. Okay. How about a thing? Nope. Okay, there it is. I see it. I see it. I see it. It's in there somewhere. Okay, it is illuminated. Thank goodness. Uh, that area. Yes. Um, con confirm. Do I, should I just keep going or should I hit confirm? I'm very confused by all of this. I really should have planned this better. Okay, that's the wombat one, which I kind of vaguely wanted to be the end of the tour. This is whatever this is. Uh, that's tour point two and tour point four. Okay, um, it's going to be an odd little tour. We're not going to lie about this. There's point three. Um, quite a bit of running around here. <laughs> this is just sort of a relay race. It's like, okay, and there's your animal, and go, go, hurry, hurry, get to the next one. It's on the other side of the park. Um, okay, that's that's four points there. And then they, they are literally running back and forth. This is the dumbest tour of course it is. It's mine. Uh, tour end. Okay, that, that part I'm pretty good with. We're ending on wombats, as we sure, as we should. Okay, tour there. Uh, complete tour point setup. Um, yeah, I, yay, yes. Yes? Assigned to tour one. Okay. Um, have we, have we done that? Have we done that? I, I think we've done that, right? Complete tour point setup. No species assigned. Oh, okay. Uh, well, wombats, obviously. Okay, it's a misassigned species, though. Why? Why? I don't... That part I'm not understanding. Okay. Okay. This building is not assigned to any work zone. No, it isn't. It's a tour. Okay, tour one. You still need me to complete the tour point setup. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And uh-huh. Okay, it seems happy if we talk about sea lions? That, it doesn't give me my misaligned or misassigned or something there. So, it's operational. Okay, I'm going to tentatively turn the game on. It's operational. I don't have any red flags here. I'm just going to click learn more. Oh, no, I, I, well, I, I do know about work zones. I don't use them optimally, but I, I do use, or I do know about them. Again, complete tour point setup. Yup. What, what's, what's going on? Oh, I getcha. Okay, so I, I kind of have to, like, assign one to every tour point. Oh, okay, well, this is the dogs. Yeah, there we go, African wild dogs. Okay, cool. And this one is the gators. Okay, the American alligator. Okay, I see how this is going now. So at every tour point, I have to say, here's what we're talking about here. Okay, have I done anything else that I need to do here? Uh, what are we... What are we actually looking at in here? Well, you know what? It'll tell you, Dave. Uh, talk about the zebras. Everybody likes to look at a good zebra. And then do we have... Oh, we're done. We're done. Okay. Tour fee. Well, tour guests are willing to pay more than standard... Oh, yeah, heck yes. Heck yes. Uh, it's another $15 to go on tour. Okay, okay, so that's tour one. Right. Are we on tour? The tour rating is half a star. I don't think anyone's actually gone on tour yet. I'm going to... Okay, okay. Barring anything popping up over here, I'm going to go wait until daylight so I can see what I'm doing, and then hover by the front door... And see if, they're like, a tour gets going. And the immediate question for comments is, how much can I get away with for these tours? Can I say this is, like, a $50 tour? And how many people are going to be on it? Well, I mean, I'll kind of find that out for myself. But how many people are going to be on it? Now that I'm kind of getting a grasp for them, <laughs> he says optimistically, now that I'm kind of getting a grasp for them, I could do a really long tour around here. Maybe charge them boatload for it. And we've done a bunch of vet research, too. That'll be sloth tech. Yeah, sloth technology is heavily researched right now. I should... Hang on, I'll come back to here 
in two seconds because Dawn is coming up. But let me get over to the sloths because we should be able to make their layout better. And that will obviously make our sloths way more happy there. Yeah, here they are. They're over by the penguins. Okay, so layout. Yep. A browse holder, a food bowl, and a water dish. Well, have food, obviously. And then we get the next thing, I'll get you the next thing. You don't worry about that, sloths. Now, was I supposed to set up, like, times on these tours or some sort of schedule? Was I, was I supposed to be doing that? So show me this. Your tour number one. Right, okay. Open up the tour manager. Is there any sort of scheduling I should be doing? Oh, I have tour colors. Oh, good. Uh, no, tour color is going to be that red. Thank you. Uh, yeah, and this is going to be, uh, I don't know, that color. And the rest is fine. Thank you. Thank you for asking. Okay, so is there timing that I need to do? So you're going to, to tour point two and then three, or sorry, two to four and then three to five and then over to six. Neat. I've made your lives hell. Should I be assigning somebody? It, I don't seem to be able to. I'm Maybe my educator just kind of picks that up. Oh, hang on. Should I be assigning the educators in here? Uh, yeah, well, we've done a thing. Okay, we've learned more sloth tech. That probably opened up a new layout thing, too. I'll try to get over there when I can. Um, sloths, they're not, they're not going very far. So, educators, am I supposed to be assigning you to, like, a tour point? No, I don't, I don't see anything in there. Okay, hopefully this will work. I, f I, I just, I keep coming back to the work zone thing. I feel I've done this wrong in that this is supposed to be in a work zone for some reason. I'm, I'm just, I'm not, I'm real fuzzy on this. I'm just sort of throwing tour points down and figuring it out as I go along. Obviously, I'll I just wait for comments to fill me in on the blanks there. Really, I'm just waiting for anyone at all to come over and go, uh, is there some kind of tour happening here? I was, I was told we get a tour about wombats. Well, nobody's showing up for the tour, so I think that's probably an excellent place to call it on Planet Zoo for today. Obviously, I'm just going to wait for comments to tell me how tours work. I, I feel I've got like 80% of it. But I'm missing the bit that says, okay, tour, activate. That's that's kind of the, the bit that's not really happening right now. Are we, are we telling people about sea lions over here? Are we... Wh why, do, why are we telling people about sea lions? Oh, it's an ad for sea lions. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Everybody stop panicking. That's a perfectly appropriate thing to be advertising. Guys, we'll pick up some more of Planet Zoo again next time. Do please keep the comments coming and let me know what you're thinking of this. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up. No end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours. And we'll see you next time. But maybe we close the door during a zombie apocalypse cinnamon, huh? It's just basic security technique. If the door is closed, cinnamon, cinnamon, the zombies are gonna have to work harder to get in. What you've done is put up a big sign on the top of your roof here that says, hey zombies, this way for food. All right, is there an actual fire or are you just telling me that fire is a thing that exists? Because I'm very familiar with that. Fire loves me and it wants to be near me at all times. And I'm pretty sure they're trying to beat him to death with a baguette, which is less effective than you might commonly think it would be. I have created epic fruitcake. Those words have never been uttered in the entirety of human history. That sentence has never come together. I have made epic fruitcake.